my truck, somebody else's truck. Change of plan. Um, yeah, change of plan. I thought I was just delivering loads today like normal, but uh, my trailer, some other guy's trailer, we're gonna change it up. I'm gonna take that trailer, deliver that load, that trailer, staying with, all that translates into work, which I'm about to have to do. Sweet. Getting sweaty, it's warm out here. Sweatshirt off. Gotta get to work changing over all this stuff. There's really not a lot to change over, but I need to make sure that my trailer, which I kind of really like, um, everything's locked down so that uh, it doesn't get stolen and all that good stuff. Step seven or whatever we're on, I gotta uncouple my truck from what was my trailer switch everything around yeah are you getting confused yet i think i'm confused i need to take notes figure out what the heck i'm doing here all right off to it Okay, that one's done. I gotta hook up to this one. Let's do it. Ready to go. I'm uh, taking this truck here, this other one, up the road a ways to a different spot, then uh, getting a ride back down to pick my truck back up. So, every day is fun, isn't it? You never know. You never know what you're going to do. Uh, this will be a fun drive. Uh, the guy that was in this truck before had a much different definition of like domestic baseline of cleanliness so uh yeah that's neat but i'll be back to my truck in no time made it to kenworth dealership dropped off the truck now i'm just uh waiting for an uber ride back to my truck pretty sweet just standing on the corner feels nice all right Yep, still just waiting. Made it back. 
made it back to my truck. I just got to take a 30 mile ride in a Kia Rio. You jealous? I would be. It was off the hook. All right, just found out this load's going to Salt Lake City, so southward and onward, etc. Small hiccup in the day, but we're gonna get back on track. You guys wanna see something cool? Check out that load securement. That's a pro job right there. <laughs> oh, I just stopped, pulled into a truck stop so I could scale this load. Make sure I was legal and everything, which I am. Well, I'm just admiring, admiring this, uh, this tarp job here. It's always funky when you end up with somebody else's load and it's not even so much a matter of like good versus bad job. Just like we all develop our own methods and systems that work. So I, I've been walking around here for a minute, just scouting it out, just like envisioning, like how am I going to undo this in the morning? I even thought about undoing it now and like kind of redoing it all, but I kind of just decided it's probably a little bit of a moot point because I'm so close to the delivery point and everything. And I'll just, I'll just mess with it tomorrow when I get unloaded, but um, it's going to be kind of interesting because this is going to be my equipment for a minute. So try to familiarize myself. Anyways, uh, it's about all for now. Salt Lake City. Hey, you know what makes me happier than just about anything? On-site parking for the win. No truck stop for me, boys. I'm locked and loaded, ready to go in the morning. I was thinking about loosening things up, but there's a sign that specifically instructs me not to do that. So I'm at the mercy of time management in the morning. And I guess I'll check in with you guys then. Later.